Hello, welcome pen friends. This is part two of a two-part series um, that is 12 new favorite inks. And uh, what we've done so far, in part one I showed you uh, the 12 inks that I encountered that are contenders for um, possibly bumping off a, a few of the original 12 inks. This is the, the new ones that, that I'm really crazy about, but it was really harder than I thought to narrow down. So um, these were in January 2021, the 12 favorites um, back here in my ink journal. So what I want to do, what I want to accomplish today is out of these 24 inks, I want to kind of create a panel of 12 that truly are my current uh, top 12. Even though I know, you know, I love them all and <laughs> it's it might be just a little bit silly, but it's fun, I think. I, I really do think that I have already enjoyed this so much, um, contemplating it. And so what we'll do, I think I'll go ahead and lay out the original 12 and then I'll see if there are any easy eliminator, you know, ones that I can just sort of uh, say, no, I'm, I'm pretty sure I could, uh, that that's not the top. And then I'll see if there are any obvious ones from the, the new 12 that I just love. Anyway, we'll, we'll just, this is a process that I'm not sure how it's going to work, but I couldn't really face it by myself. So <laughs> I really wanted to kind of bring you along. Uh, and also I thought maybe the thought process might be helpful too. It, it might just be uh, something that we could enjoy together. So I'm going to pause it while I set up. <clears throat> okay, so we have our starting point. In January of 2021, these were my 12 favorites. And I'll tell you, I still get really excited about these inks. So... Um, I actually, <laughs> as I was putting them out, I know automatically that I, this is a keeper, the KWZ Standard Monarch. Um, it's not as easy as I thought it would be to kind of boil it down to just 12. I definitely, uh, uh, with usage and with just love of ink, I really love the Faber-Castile Stone Gray. So those, th those two are definitely staying. <laughs> Oh boy, it, it gets really hard because I absolutely love Waterman Tender Purple and I'm using it like almost all the time now. So it's going to be probably, this may not be the way to, to do it, I don't know. <laughs> um, I'll have to actually get out the new ones and see which ones of those are like... I, I'm pretty sure that red-wise, I, um, I still love KWZ Thief's Red, but I've got at least two other red ones that I use more now. So I'm going to take that one off. You know, they can always come back if I just can't stand it. But okay, so there's one. Whew, that's hard. I'm almost out of Monteverde Purple Rain and I love the ink. So that's tough because, you know, even between Waterman Tender Purple and Monteverde Purple Rain, there's a difference. Um, this is a, a real insane shader. It's gorgeous. And I'm at the point now, I think, where I'll have to purchase more if I'm going to keep writing with it. Yeah, I, I know I cleaned the bottle out, which means it's in a tiny little, it's probably just sample left. So, oh, so I hate to take that one off. But when it be in between the two, that's tough because I already have, I have a remaining bottle of that. Let's see how much I have. <clears throat> We're already starting to see they're factors that I hadn't really thought about. Wow, where is that bottle? Let's see. Okay, I found my Waterman Tender Purple, and I do have about a half a bottle left. So I have more of the Waterman than I do the Monteverde Purple Rain, but I'm not sure that's going to save me <laughs> in this instance. Oh, my goodness. Okay, I got to get brave and bold here. I have not really written with uh, Robert Oster Lake of Fire recently. I love it, but I'm, I think I'm going to move it off for now, just for now, because we've got to make room. We've got to make room for some of my absolute, I know they're going to make the top out of these other 12. Um, and I haven't written a lot with Bunga Box Lamont either recently. I, there are those magenta inks that have kind of taken over, so I'm going to move it. I'm not taking these away permanently. I just uh, feel like Maybe I should, you know, get moving here. Okay, so SBRE Brown. I still love this ink. I found that other brown that I just really love. Like, it's it's totally, I'm in love with it. Um, I actually wanted to share an ink journal page on that. 
uh, I've cleaned out the SBRE brown bottle. That was 120 mils though. So I did end up with at least like 40 mil left of that. So I'm not out of it. But the Sailor ink, uh, it kind of falls in a medium brown and it gives me a lot of shading. Um, I don't know. I love them both. But And this, this is a tiny little bottle. So... It's funny that we would go move right away to like how much is in the bottles. That's interesting, isn't it? I tend to like these little bottles. Uh, I think it's what, 20 mil? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's 20 mil. You know, the 18 mil Twisby and the 20 mil and the 30 mil bottles. That's kind of a neat um, way. All right, I'm going to, I'm just, I'm not going to take away SBRE Brown yet, but I'm going to put this here like so both of the browns are there because that's and then that leads me to another thing um absolutely positively sure that vinta Mecopa has to go on here so we're gonna put that down this is like playing that memory game card or something <laughs> card game oh boy um color supernatural that is another one that I definitely want on here. So like I'm those four, I'm locked in, I think. I'm locked, locked totally in. And then it starts getting, oh, I know how much I just love this J. Arbonne Amethyst D. Laurel, but I've got more purples too to consider. Let's see, I've got Diatramentus. See, Diatramentus, Alexander Hamilton, it's kind of nice because um, I don't have to worry about shimmer. And it's that nice, it's almost the same color. It, when it's coming out of a nib, it kind of is. I'll do the same thing I did with the brown ink. I'll put them together and then we'll go from there. It's kind of like trying out uh, having the new one there instead. Okay. Oh, this one's a definite. Uh, the Pilot Orochizuku uh, Suzitsuju or whatever it is. It, that, the beautiful, beautiful uh, pink is just my, one of my favorites. Um, I love Sailor Manyo Akami. I ran into a few problems with that ink, but it was an old sample vial, I think. We're going to talk about that. I, I've got a thing to show you. And I did, okay, I, I was thinking that I needed to choose maybe between these three for my red, because I, I took away Thief's Red, because I, you know, maybe I just wrote with that so much. And I love all three of these. I actually think when you... But it's really, I love the Caveco, but that's very specialized. That ends up going in my eco, and I, I love it, but it's kind of down between these two. And I, I have a lot more, I think, of the Sailor Grena Grenade. It shades more, but this is just really flowy and pretty, too. But yet, I think if I had to choose, it would be the gren Grenade. Grenade. Um, but I don't know where I'm going to put it, because, oh boy, this is getting tough here. <sighs> Okay, I haven't written with this in a long time. I love it. It reminds me a lot of this one, actually. Isn't that interesting? That was one of the things. I couldn't think of the, the one it reminded me, but that would explain why I'm so crazy about Purple Mountain Majesties, because that shades as well. And this is a shader, but I have very little of a small bottle left of that one. I'm going to take that one off. I think we'll put this one there. Oh, boy. Getting antsy here. <clears throat> Oh, because I know I love Diamine Aqua Lagoon. Last summer, I wrote with it a lot, too. Oh, we're getting closer here. We got more up on the... This is like playing chess. I got a lot of players up there. I've got four in the hand. <clears throat> Two kind of... Okay, I think I, I think I was willing to... Since I got to keep Vinta Mecopa, that's definitely my favorite between these two. I think I will put that one up there for now. We're getting there. Twisby Royal Purple. Okay. These three are like three of my very favorite bright purples. Waterman Tender Purple. Mont Blanc Psychedelic Purple, which is gorgeous. I tend to kind of um, act like scarcity with that one because even though I have the bottle, I, um, I know it was expensive and it won't be a repurchase ever. So, <laughs> But these two are very similar coming out of a nib. You can see the difference, and I did link a video to the other part one there where you could really see that. It's hard for me, though, to take away Waterman Tender Purple because I'm currently writing with that all the time. I might have to just go ahead and say, okay, Monteverde Purple Rain is beautiful, and I know it, but it's almost out, so it's time to kind of... 
it's time to choose and, and write more with, with uh, one of these, which would then preserve that for longer for me in special occasions. Um, gosh, I got to admit, you know, I love the Twisby Royal Purple, but the Mont Blanc is just super, super color. The color is just amazing. And I need room, really, for Sailor Gren Gren Grenade. <laughs> and yet, oh, I haven't even started talking about these two yet. Colorverse Gravity Wave. I love that ink. And that, that is right here. That is... I've got a lot of that left. I'm good. And I've got some Monteverde California Teal, which is very similar. I didn't get that out to see just exactly. It wasn't quite ready to pour it over to a smaller bottle yet. Um, and I don't have to include grenade, but grenade. Let's see. I guess this is about having some fresh, you know, uh, rotation of ink. It, it, it's kind of like pens in a way. <laughs> oh, boy. It seems kind of silly to take this out. I don't even know how much I have of it, but let's, let's check into that. I need to check into that because I was kind of curious about that. That is an ink that is also available in 30 mil. So I've got about a half a bottle of the Aqua Lagoon. So it's not like down to dire straits or anything. <laughs> These come with 80, so it's maybe I have 40 mil or... Okay, and I, I do love that. <laughs> now that's it. I mean, then we're talking about comparing these two. And this is brighter. This is more teal. <clears throat> this is more turquoise, I guess. Huh. When it comes down to usage, it's definitely the Aqua Lagoon. Okay. All right. Now, let's go back and revisit the two that are... I just think that's just having a fresh face. There's no way I'm going to give up on this one. This is the... Uh, has the silver shimmer, and it's really smooth. It... it you don't even really think about it being a shimmer ink. I, I run it through my Lamy Fine Nib, and, it, and it's just so smooth. It never never goes wrong, and, and it's great. Um, so I love these about equally. But this is a new bottle, too, and, and I can maybe not run out of this if I write with this more. <clears throat> okay, so this is hard because these are different. Um, this is much more medium brown. I think, well, this is a medium brown. SBRE brown is a medium brown, too. It's lighter, though. And, um, and under the camera and all, it ends up looking more orange. Um, but I don't, I don't know where my journal entry is for that one. That's not what this one is about. Really, I, I kind of reserve all that for when I do my progress reports. And that's when you see these kind of things. Okay. Well... See, I don't, that's not sustainable, though. And also, another thing I was thinking of was I got a Noodler's Brown ink, too. But it, it was more of an orange, so I can't remember which one that was. I, I was just bringing them all over so I could see everything real good. And uh, I'm just going to have an avalanche. Now I'm doing it, not Coco. So I think that's a, probably a quest for another day. <clears throat> It's not like I would replace SBRE Brown with the Sailor because it's such a small bottle. So I, I even have more of that left than I have of the Sailor. But boy, that's a hard one. That's almost like a tie. <clears throat> okay, well, while I'm thinking about that in the back of my mind, I wanted to show you what I meant about the problem I had with Acabe, uh in the little sample vial. Let's see. I think that I had some evaporation. I'll show you. I'm going to open it over here so it doesn't... I had some kind of dark spots around the outside, not on the inside of the vial. And then the ink itself just looked too dark, too concentrated. So I'm pretty sure I had a change in the ink. Um, let me show you. I just showed you over on the other side there what it looked like, but it kind of looked dark. Where's the tile? Tile would help us. Now this is Tamoy River paper. And this is 
uh, watercolor paper. But still, now let's go over to the ink journal and I'll show you what I mean. I have the ink journal entry for this ink, which is right here. And it is, it is a dark, almost purpley magenta. And, and then of course when water activates it, it, it looks pink. But and it has like all that shading. But I'll show you, I did go to the back of this journal and I did swatches. This was from the sample vial. And then this was directly from the bottle. So I do believe I had an incident, you know, like where <laughs> the ink got evaporated and kind of uh, needed maybe a little water added or something. Because you can see, maybe you can see, I can, that, um, gee, that, that's just so dark. Unless it was a case of having a lot of extra, whatever you want to call it, filament or sheen, kind of settle, and, and now we're at that point, but there's two mil left in there. Anyway, what I'm going to do is start a new ink vial with, I'm going to make sure this is nicely, it's not shimmer or anything, but I'm going to agitate it a little and put it in a new um, vial. So I'm not sure that... Um, this or the entry that I made on my chart, which is sad because now it's there. You know, I think that's too dark, but that's just one of those things that happens. It's been a long time that I've had the ink in this sample. And that kind of puts a fire under me because I've got a lot of samples that have been around. Okay, where are we at here? <laughs> okay, so still, I, everything else seems like, yeah, this is what I want here. Um, and I just can't seem to commit to deciding between these two, which I don't have to do in reality, but uh, I'm in love with this sailor. And I, I really still love SBRE Brown, but I think um, it's, yeah, it's like, it's very sentimental too. And uh, I think for now, just for like this thing of what I'm actually using more of right now and enjoying and, and comes to the top, this would be it right here. So let's compare where we started from to where we are and see how many survived. <clears throat> you, you probably got it figured out already. I'm just kind of... Okay, so of the ones we started with before, Monarch and Fabric Castile Stone Gray. Yep. Uh, Diamine Aqua Lagoon, so that's three. Four. Four. Wow. Is that it? Wow, I guess I am looking at a fresh set of ink almost. Let's put those together and then I can make sure I'm not telling you wrong. Um, Aqua Lagoon. So these top four, they were... 2021, they were included in the top 12. And if I'm not mistaken, then we're looking at eight fresh inks here. Well, some of them I had had around, but they've become, they've grown on me and become, like I've written with Alexander Hamilton with samples. I had a couple of samples before. And I had for quite a while, Colorverse Supernatural in sample. Because my friend that sent that sample BH uh, always sends like really large samples. So that's it. Four originals and eight. So here we have it. This is basically two videos to answer one simple question. <laughs> uh, you know, and it surprises me because actually I am kind of taken with uh, these eight more than some of the ones that were on here. Cool. But that, let, let me pull out the ones that are still sort of like, no, don't go anywhere. Please don't go anywhere. Um, well, this one. And, well, of course, I just got done talking about Esberry Brown. Definitely J. Arbonne Amethyst de Laurel. I don't want that to go anywhere either. Purple Rain. I actually found myself thinking about ordering another bottle, which is... That doesn't happen very often. Like, I think Fabric Castile Stone Gray is the only other one currently that I keep thinking, oh, I'm going to run out. Well, no, not yet. And I do have other gray ink, but let's see. I mean, it's now been longer. Huh. Oh, yeah. And here comes this, even this newbie that I know I love. 
But there, you just can't quite compare the Sailor Gren Gren Grenade with um, this one. This is like a everyday ink that doesn't really shade, but it's flowy and it's gorgeous. Um, okay. And really, if I wrote more with blue inks at all, Robert Oster, A Lake of Fire, is still one of my favorite inks. I love it. I just, I'm, not, I'm on a roll with purples and magentas. I'm just <laughs> obsessive about it. Um, Sailor Mano Acabe is still one of my favorites, but it's really these in my hand, I think. And I don't know if I just wrote so much with Bunga Box Lamont. Um, I did a real good number on that bottle. It's not completely empty, but I really used a lot of it. And then I do expect to continue writing with Twisby Royal Purple, but I've got quite a few others that look almost similar in a nib, so I'm happy with that. Yeah, so okay. Clearly, there are 24 inks that I'm really taken with, and these would be, these are like the um, elimination panel right here. So I think that's it. I think we did it. <laughs> and the other inks aren't going anywhere until they're cleaned out. I just cleaned out a bottle last night. I'm going to get it in just a second. Okay, so this is the bottle I cleaned out last night. It always feels so good, even though, you know, I really love um, Monteverde Canyon Rust, obviously, because there goes the bottle. Um, I cleaned it out, and I also, when I put it away, I have a place where I keep empty bottles in case I do need them. Then I found that there was the purple rain bottle that would, will now be right with it. And I remembered that what I did with what was left of that, see, it's, it's about right maybe there. So it's about maybe 15 mil. So I did have an old um, diamine bottle that I just relabeled. Because this takes up so much more room on the ink shelf. So I really, this summer heat, uh, you know, heat index 110 to 114. These are the kinds of things I'm really enjoying. So that's what I did. Let's see. Actually, I did the same thing with the Canyon Rust. So it's kind of cheating. And yet, why have this tiny little bit of ink left in here? I put it in here and labeled it. So they fit like really nicely up on the ink shelf, which... I could just show you and then I can end the video because oh my goodness okay let me I'll show you and I'll show you where Coco is he's sleeping okay so this is just kind of <laughs> the wider angle of the favorite place here um, oh he just kind of moved and woke up I wanted to show you I did put his chair right next to here because it just is so nice for him to be able to rest and not climb up Oh, he's got his tongue sticking out. Oh, he's so cute. Hi, Coco. <laughs> Everybody said they missed him. So, okay. But what I wanted to show you was the, how nice this is. The shelf for holding these small bottles, you get two. And with the uh, diamine bottles, you also get two deep. So that's kind of nice. So up there, I have, whoops, this, the setup I have here is in the way. Let's see. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Anyway, uh, there's a lot of holes right now, but I'm still really enjoying these spice racks for my inks. And I noticed I have, wow, so many Robert Oster inks. Um, but yeah, so when I empty these bottles, it just makes sense when they're down to almost nothing to put them in the smaller ones. And then over here, well, this is nothing to brag about. It's a mess. I actually have something new to show you too. Um, I got this from Amazon. It's got 36 really nice vials, and it's in this case. Now, they didn't... It rattles around a bit, but it does hold them, and that's where I'm going to put all the new uh, yet to be written with, but I was thinking I'd show you that when I get progressed. Anyway, the rest is just, you know, typical... <laughs> <laughs> typical yay I love it so that's it Th those are the 12 I will type out the 12 that made it into the description box with details and everything and <laughs> this does kind of seem like a backward way backwards way of doing things but it isn't easy to eliminate inks <laughs> and come up with the top 12 but here you go and I will see you on the next video please let me know what your favorites are I just absolutely love to hear about it. Bye for now.